then all of a sudden, uh, you know, you got to put the brakes down. Yeah, it's it's pretty terrible, but um, I mean, it is it is uh, it is what it is at this point. You know, um, you like think you like things to go differently, especially for the people you work with and you know um, care about, especially you know. Um, but here we are. Here's the tough part. You look around the room, you're not quite sure who uh, will all be back. Yeah, it's always a you know it's always a toss up for sure. What, as you look back on this season, characterize it because last year at this time you didn't know who your head coach would be, who the general manager would be. I mean, lots happened in a year. Definitely, you know. Um, having had a really a chance to reflect on this year, you know, obviously it was, I think we we're going to still go on, um, still still be playing football right now. But uh, you know, I'm going to be reflecting these next couple of days and have a better idea about that. Do you feel like you're really close? Or, you, know, you play so many close games. Uh, you, do you feel like you're really close to being, or is, is, is the league just built that way, that it's always going to be that way? There's always going to be some close games. You know, um, I think we showed a lot um, this season, especially. But um, you know, um, in playoffs, you got to got to come with it, for sure. Eric, how much did you, I mean, obviously, when Jordan came in here, I'm sure you had expectations, Jordan Jakes, of, of what it would be like to play with him. But, just out of, what was your favorite part of playing with him? Man, I, I love playing with Jordan. Um, guy's clued in. Um, he's a good friend of mine. Um, but uh, you know, he's uh, he's been doing it in this league for a long time. I mean, you just look at his uh, his his resume. I mean, um, he's. I mean, as far as backers in the league, we've been doing it as long as me and him. Um, he's up there with he's up there with anybody. Um, so I have tremendous respect for him and his ability, and I uh, love playing with him. Is, is there something you can put your finger on for the defense as far as just you know, how everything went yesterday and kind of the totality of what you guys did, like numbers wise and things yeah, like that? We let them score too much, you know. Um, <laughs> we didn't score enough. We lost, so for sure. Do you, you guys have a number of veterans, including yourself, who have pretty big contracts and there are salary cap issues? Would you <laughs> be surprised if some of these veterans, you know, aren't? Aren't back next year? I'm what? not even thinking about that right now, currently. Um, so, you know, it's always, like I said, you know, um, that's not even my, my job to, to, to determine. So I'm just going to do what I do. What's your everlasting memory from this season, first year under O'Connell? Just the guys, man. It's always, the, it's always about the guys, you know, always about the guys in the locker room. Um, shoot, just had so much fun this year, you know. Sucks it's over with, but uh, you know you always have your hat. You know you 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 put in the work. You know you 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 can hang your hat on on the you know the work you put in throughout the week and, and everything like that. So you know um, I'm just happy that I got experience with these guys in the locker room. Um, great bunch of dudes, love them to death. What well, lost things, no matter what. Does it feel different this year compared to last you know, as you kind of push forward into the offseason? Yeah, I mean, definitely does. You know, I wasn't expecting this to be in the situation right now that we're in, but, uh, you know, I'm just dealing with it as I can right now. What made the locker room so special? It's always, like I said, it's always, the, I couldn't pinpoint it, you know, but it's always about the guys. You know, um, I think that uh, just looking back at, you know, high school, uh, college, and in just my, you know, my years in the league, you know, it's the, you know, you don't really, you know, you, you remember games, you remember plays, this and that, but it always is about the guys in the locker room and the little, little BS, you know, and, and joking around and, and um, just, just putting in the work together, you know, bleeding together, um, going through injuries, all that stuff. Uh, I think that people here understand you better than anybody else. Eric, maybe you can kind of describe what today's been like, what was kind of the message from coach and what have, the players been like and saying goodbye to each other and various things like that. What's the day been like? Yeah, you know, obviously, obvious, obvious disappointment, you know, for sure. And, you know, we can't ignore that. But at the same breath, you know, um, we won 13 games this year. You know, we, we we did a lot of good things, won a lot of close games, showed a lot of resilience, but um, didn't get it done. I mean, can you look at this year, Eric, and say, okay, it was a success that ultimately only one team gets to hoist the trophy, but 13 wins, winning the division. Can you say, okay, we had a successful year? Yeah, I'm not there yet, honestly. Um, to be real, um, I want to. I'm, I'm, I'm here to win, so you know that. You know it's still upsetting, but uh, you know, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm obviously proud of a lot of things we did this year.